Hello everyone. Today I thought I'd add in a new style of video for the channel. I want to focus on mods and maps made for Ready or Not and give them an honest review so you can decide for yourself if they're worth installing. With that being said, let's start our deep dive on the mod I use for essentially every single video, the Console Unlocker mod. This mod allows for the player to use console commands, which I haven't had too much success with, but if y'all find any useful commands, make sure to put them in the comment section below. The console commands part definitely is not the star here. No, the thing I use most in this mod is the camera. The menu for this mod is brought up using the F2 key. The camera mod allows for the player to spawn a third person camera that can no clip through the game. The camera movement is controlled by the WASD keys, Q to roll left, E to roll right, spacebar to move up, and shift to move down. The user can switch back and forth between the player and the camera using F6, take a screenshot using F5, pause time in-game with F4, and bring the menu back up using F2. A list of keybinds are also directly available at the bottom of the menu for reference. Quick side note, the player used to be able to use the reset lean button to lean their character without having to hold on to the Q or E key but it seems like with the latest update, it no longer works correctly. In the camera settings, the user can change how fast or slow the camera moves using the slider. They can also change the speed on the fly using the mouse wheel, although I found the speeds to be a bit spotty when doing so. The turn speed can also be adjusted, as well as the overall post-processing of the game in camera. Under the lens settings, a variety of options are available. The focal distance can be changed using this slider, or the user can click unlock and use their mouse to adjust it instead. The focal distance can also lock directly onto an actor to keep a subject in focus at all times. The minimum and maximum focal length can be adjusted to get a wider or narrower field of view. The f-stop can be adjusted to change how much bokeh, blur, or depth of field effect occurs. And finally, the diaphragm blade count can be adjusted for the lens blooming. Speaking of lens bloom, the user can adjust how intense the bloom is the threshold level, and the scale of the bloom in-game. The user can also change the lens flare effects, but if I'm being honest, I don't really see it having as much of an effect on most world objects or point lights. Motion blur and all its grossness can be adjusted. The mod also offers a decent amount of color grading for all you aesthetic types out there that want the predator style look in your screenshots. And just as a point here, if you screw up something in all of this, you can always go back to the top and click reset all, which will throw everything back to their default values. Image effects can be adjusted such as vignette, grain, and chromatic aberration to stylize your videos that much more. And finally, you can adjust your classic film settings to get the right exposure you need. An awesome addition here is the ability to save styles so that if you want to revert to a style you had before, you can do so with just one click. Gee, I sure wish that was implemented in the loadout system. Moving on, the player can spawn point lights to add in what are essentially Philips Hue bulbs to the game, affecting lighting, coloration, and intensity. You can also mount the camera to a character's helmet, making for a sickening GoPro 2-esque shot. You can also switch between all attachment points to get multiple angles from AI as well as the player. One suggestion I'd like to make is I do wish they would add in gun-mounted cameras, as that would add in a solid camera angle for cinematics. Finally, the mod offers teleport points, so that if you want, you can set up a bunch of camera angles prior to doing a playthrough, and you can just switch to them when the time comes, so that it's all set up for you. You can also save these points like you can in the camera settings, so that you can use them again later if needed. Another suggestion I'd like to make is to allow the player to be remotely controlled when in camera mode. Currently, you can't do much with your character when you're in the debug camera, so allowing for the player to remotely control themselves would make for easier third-person shots when the AI doesn't do what you want them to do for the 12th take in a row and all you want to do is put some full metal jacket straight through Eli's dumb throat. <laughs> anyway, uh, that was pretty much it as far as the mod goes. It's incredibly top tier, so anyone thinking of making cinematics or getting cool screenshots in game, you should definitely install this ASAP. I'll also be leaving a link in the description so you can grab it real easy. If y'all want a guide on how to install this or any other mod, let me know in the comments and I'll make one. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. This channel has grown so much and I'm incredibly excited to make more videos for y'all. This stuff is so much fun for me and it makes me happy knowing I can share something I'm passionate about with others. So again, thank you all so very much. And as always, remember our sole objectives. Stop the killing. Stop the dying. I'll see y'all later.